I think it contributes to really the, the effective operation of government. There are positions that are not filled in a timely and prompt way, boards and commissions that are not fully impaneled. So the actual operation of government in its effectiveness, I would argue, is limited because of the confirmation process, which is too long, too cumbersome, and I think there are very good recommendations that can come forth which will streamline it, preserve the kind of transparency and vetting, and to make sure that we have men and women of character and integrity uh, serving in our government, but do so with a process that is uh, commensurate with the position that they will have, whether it's full-time or part-time position, the level of government that they will serve. So I think it will contribute to a more effective, organized government, which in turn I think will give all Americans a greater sense of confidence that things can happen, things can get done. We can make a difference through our government. I think American citizens are greatly concerned about what they perceive to be a level of dysfunctionality that is an outgrowth of a broken appointments process. And I'm directing the Rockefeller Aspen Institute's Commission to Reform the Federal Appointments Process where we're looking at ways that we could streamline the system and uh, make the system less laborious and look at ways that we can consolidate and reduce the number of redundancies on the questionnaire. Uh, I'll give you an example. There are 1,978 questions that are asked over five forms. A third of those are redundant or repetitive in nature. Um, so we're looking at ways that we could ask questions one way, one time. We're looking at ways that we could also uh, clarify the questions that really need to be asked. I call them uh, need to know versus want to know type of questions. And we're looking at ways that we can consolidate all the questions into one form, the smart form. That every agency, uh, every entity, the FBI, the White House, the Senate could, could use and share. And in turn, the answers could be populated to the individual entities based on the questions they actually need. It can be done. There's a working committee to do it now. Um, I think we have to think about how do we get the most critical positions in the federal government field within the most timely way when a president's elected. Um, a president deserves four full years of governance versus three and a half years of governance. I think there's no question that people hear about how um, difficult it is and how they need to uh, make available so much information on themselves that it would be a deterrent to some very high quality candidates. So I definitely think it's something that needs to be addressed as among many things. But even more importantly than that, I think people need to understand why it's important that they come. It needs to be seen becoming, you know, a political appointee and having the opportunity to serve your government should be seen as an honor. It should be seen as, you know, a great uh, opportunity for you to do this service for your country. And I think we need to do a better job of explaining why that is and attracting the right candidates. And hopefully this commission, that is definitely one of the things that we'd like to address.